this is actually happening. Just repeating that, scientists have now confirmed that the Mandela Effect, the popular culture belief that the Earth is slipping in between alternate parallel realities causing unpredictable anomalies and changes in the Earth's timeline, is actually happening. This has got to be bullshit, right? Uh, why? Because it's the mainstream media. Hey, if you want to trust the mainstream media, you go right ahead. But no one has ever proven the existence of any Mandela effect. Uh, yeah, they have. It's exactly what the news report just said. On discovery of the anomaly, CERN shut down the Large Hadron Collider and ceased any further experimentation. But director of CERN, Marlon Brando, who was believed dead and an actor, we think, in his original alternate reality, was careful to reiterate that he didn't believe CERN's Large Hadron Collider facility was the source of the space-time continuum anomalies. We haven't listened to Marlon Brando. Scientists have verified that this is happening. If it's happening, then what's different now? That's the whole point. You wouldn't remember, would you? Because, as Marlon Brando just said, where, what are we doing, Steve? Don't treat me like a child. I know what's going on. Just in case you don't, you can't remember because you slipped between alternate dimensions, took on all the memories from a new alternate reality. Now, that's kind of convenient, isn't it? You know, it's a conspiracy theory when it's un... Uh, I think you mean unfalsifiable? I know, I'm not an idiot. Only idiots ever have to tell people they're not idiots. Are you an idiot? Not telling. Oh, fuck! So I suppose this ad for the McLolly doesn't really exist either. The McLolly. Two all beef patties drenched in delicious golden honey. All held together by two sponge cake buns and deep fried in an oversized vat of boiling hot genuine Canadian maple syrup tap lovingly at the highest peak of the Rocket Mountains. We polarize the entire burger to dust in an anti-mortar and pestle so you can snort it directly into your brain with a long, hard piece of genuine Vietnamese sugar cane. <laughs> oh, oh, why is there so much blood? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I can't. I can't. Every day you bombard me with bullshit conspiracy theories like the queen is a fucking lizard or whatever. But this one, this one verified by science is too far-fetched for you. Well, maybe I was a conspiracy theorist in the other reality and this one I'm not. Yeah, hence proving the theory. And also that you're completely fucking brain decapped. You know, I'm offended by that. My brother Lenny, he was brain decapped. Oh, fucking hell, you don't have a brother. I do have a brother. At least, I did. I lost him to a weird cult where they worshipped well-endowed platypuses. He was never quite right after that. So I took him down the river... Asked him to close his eyes and imagine the uh, fluffy bunnies and then I summarily executed him. For kindness. You know I've read uh, of Mice and Men, right? No, I mean, uh, what do you mean? The, the novel you're ripping off with this dumbass story. I, I know the source material. Yeah, nah, that's that's not... Oh, fucking, what the hell is this itch? Oh, probably some dag fungal infection, you unwashed hobo. This is Hank Wankerson coming to you live during the events of the first ever Mandela Effect. I found this old woman in the streets. Let's see what she has to say about it all. Excuse me, miss. Have you noticed anything out of place since the Mandela Effect was confirmed? Oh, no, not really. I can't say I have, young man. I still put my granny undies on one leg at a time. Ah, so do I, old lady. So do I. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Hank Wexen. You know, they never did say what the what the change was. What change? The, the fucking Mandela change. I guess it's a mystery. Maybe it'll forever remain one? No, nah, it must be something. I wonder why they don't say. Dude, why are you talking funny? Huh? I'm not talking funny. You are. You sound like a Morgan Freeman voiceover or something. You're over-explaining everything, using names in an introductory way. It's like you're providing exposition or something. Yeah, no idea what you're talking about, bro. Fucking hell, my asshole's itchy. Asshole? Weird how us humans have assholes in our feet, huh? Damn, I need to pinch one out. Oh god, fucking hell no!
I was on an HBO movie last year. I won an Emmy for it. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they practically just gave it away. I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't even know why I got it, you know. Yeah, it was a good time, you know. A good time. Say, what, what are you doing later? You're on camera. Uh, what? Are we on the air? Yes. Are we alive right now? Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, I wish you, wish you would have told me. Okay, anyway, okay, whatever. You know, hey, don't worry about it. I'm just, you know, okay, here we go.